Hi everyone, I'm here today excited to be cooking a meal for you from my Good Food Food Box. So today I'm going to do this from scratch. So I've got my recipe out and we're going to make tonight the whiskey butter pork chops over charred corn kale salad with goat cheese. So again, this is the clean 15 plan. So it's meant to be like a lower carb plan. Excited for it. So everything comes in this big bag, okay? So we're doing this kind of almost in real time. So I'm gonna open this up for you. It's kind of nice because you get a big bag and let's just see what's inside. I'm just gonna like dump this all on the table and hopefully you'll be able to see what we've got here. So, whoa. All right, so this is the goat cheese. We've got the radishes that are already pre-sliced for me. This is the vinaigrette, sweet, savory, honey Dijon vinaigrette. It's pre-done up in its own little bottle. Then this is the bag of the kale for the salad. Uh, we've also got, let's see, the nut crunch salad topper. This is a spice mix, ancho pepper and whiskey blend spice mix. I've uh, got some cilantro for the top as well. Then I've got my corn to go with it. And then over here on the side, I've got my uh, pork, pork chop, boneless center cut pork chops. So the recipe is gonna tell me what to do next. So basically it lists you all your ingredients and I've got everything here now on the table. I can accept the butter. So I'll be using the butter on my own. And then what I'm gonna need, uh, I've got the barbecue on so it's heating up so I can grill the pork chops and the, um, also, also the grill the corn. And uh, basically in the back, it's gonna take me through step by step. So number one, get the pork chops ready. So I'm gonna take these pork chops now season them with um, a third of the spice blend. And then I'm also going to shuck this corn, season it up with the spice blend and put it on the barbecue. It says four to six minutes per side for the pork chops. And then I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna cut the pork and then I'm gonna cut off the corn kernels off the cob. So I'll be back with you in just a few minutes when I get that all done. A great benefit of living in the country is you can just sit outside to shuck your corn and you don't really have to worry too much about making a mess. It's a gorgeous night tonight as well. Um, now I'm a little bit skeptical about getting corn in a bag, but you know something? This looks like really good peaches and cream corn. So I'll let you know once it's grilled how it's going to taste. So I've got cob number one. The barbecue is warming up. I can just smell that now as we speak. I think this is going to be a really great meal. And again, what a wonderful thing to do to have this kind of delivered to your home. Now, would this be something I could make just on my own? For sure. Uh, but for me to kind of go out, get all the ingredients, it's a little bit extra. So there we go. The corn is ready and let's get the barbecue going. There's nothing like the smell of the barbecue, especially in the summertime. And we're here in August, but there's still lots of summer out there. Just believe it, really believe it. So let's get this stuff on. So I've got the corn, which I have rubbed down with olive oil. Go put both of those on and I'll get my pork chop ready here on the grill. Okay, so again, this little packet of spice mix that came with it, like I said, it's an ancho pepper and whiskey spice blend. Doesn't that sound just so good? So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it on the corn because I thought that might be easier um, than, and then I'll kind of rub it all in with my handy tongs and you know one of the best things I love and I think these are actually just the dollar store brand is a set of tongs they're just um, so easy to use for anything in the kitchen uh, every house should have a couple pairs of these things so I'll sprinkle a little bit more of this on the pork chops here on the grill gonna rub that in a little bit there this is my first ever cooking video live so I hope that you are enjoying it from the great outdoors of uh, Miramichi, New Brunswick, Canada. So let's get these barbecue, these corn basted up a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit of coating on the other side before that oil dries out. So that that ancho, this spice powder will be, will stick right to them. And I can see how, you know, if you bought something like this, it's really easy to increase your recipe a lot more, especially with something like a protein. If you had some extra on the side. And then depending on how many people are eating from this, you know, you could make this in, it's a two meal recipe, but I think you could turn it easily into a four meal recipe as well. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of close the lid for a little bit on that barbecue. Uh, it says two to four minutes per side, but I know from grilling corn in the past that it's gonna take a little while. 
So um, really looking forward to this meal. And I think, again, one of the things, the reasons that I did this, why did I get a good food box, is because I want to show you that you can actually make it easy to be healthy. Sure, this is a little bit more expensive than if you were to go to drive to the store and get it, but guess what? It's delivered to your door friend. And so many times people tell me, I don't have the time, I don't have the recipes to make good, healthy, quality foods. And this, I think, is one of the ways that you can uh, do that to be able to maintain a healthy lifestyle um, and spend your time really where you want to focus on. Maybe it's your family that you need to spare spend time with. So I think we have to think a lot about that in life is how we want to balance out things. Time is number one. You know, time can't be bought back. And, you know, sometimes it may mean spending a little bit extra on some resources so that you can save in other areas. Anyway, be back shortly with the rest of the corn and pork. Okay, so the pork and the corn are on the grill, and so I'm going to prepare the rest of the salad. So first thing I have to do is prepare the mise en place. So basically, um, get some butter ready and chop up this parsley. Okay. So parsley is, you know, for years I used to think, what's this green stuff? But it actually adds a lot of great flavor to food when you're cooking. And, you know, this stuff that came in the bag is actually pretty fresh. Okay. So I've got that ready. So next step is make my salad. So I'm going to combine my kale with some olive oil. I'm going to massage in the kale. Kale, people think of as just another green vegetable but it's so good for you. There's so many nutrients in it, but often it can be a little bit um, firm. So when you massage or rub in the olive oil, it really tends to soften it up. And I'll use a little bit of salt and pepper on that. So then I'm gonna add to my kale, so my vinaigrette, the radishes that were here in the bag, and half of my parsley. So I'm gonna divide that up so I remember what to do. Then I'm gonna top it with this nut, um, nut topper and the goat cheese. Okay, so let's get this out. So nice big bag of parsley, oh sorry, of kale. Oh, smelling good. And guess what, it's all pre-chopped, how good is that, okay? You know, when you're in a hurry, what better thing could you want for? So let me just get this out. So this is uh, some good extra virgin olive oil. I got this bottle from Costco. Um, it's a nice Portuguese olive oil. I've traveled to Portugal, love that country. Okay. So I'm just gonna massage all this in, really wanting to make sure that it's kind of sticking to the kale really well. It's just gonna add a lot to the flavor. And you know, until you've had extra virgin olive oil, you may not notice how good oil can taste. You know, that's the thing I find, we use so much uh, canola oil here and corn oil, but really they don't have much flavor, but good extra virgin olive oil does. When I was first in Italy and tasted it, I still remember it was almost like a peppery uh, flavor when I saw it um, at an olive um, yard where it was first being prepared. Okay, so I've got that nicely massaged in. Okay, so let me add in bag of radishes. Here they go. You know, this is really easy. And it's so far from the way that I usually cook, it's a little bit, uh, Kind of funny, but that's it. So this is the Nut Crunch Salad Topper. So of course I'm gonna mix this all throughout. We've got the little bottle of vinaigrette, um, honey Dijon, that sounds really tasty. So I'm gonna pour all that in. Again, usually for my salads, I typically would add uh, just olive oil and balsamic vinegar and maybe some lemon, that's my typical additions. So I look forward to having something a little bit different. I'm gonna add in the half of that parsley that I had chopped up. Put that right here in the bowl. And then I got my goat cheese. So again, it's all done up in a perfect little container. So I'm gonna dump this here into the salad bowl as well. Okay, so we've got salad ready to go. And I think my pork uh, and my corn should be ready on the grill. Okay, it's looking really good. Smelling amazing. So here we have it. This is a beautiful grilled pork chop, fresh from the grill. Oh, and this corn, lovely charred corn, straight from the barbecue. Can't wait to get this um, into my salad. All right, I've got the corn fresh from the grill. I'm kind of thinking how I'm gonna cut this. Anyway, we'll start here at the top, so hopefully it's not gonna be super hot. So you need, usually we're thinking about eating corn on the cob. Um, but it's great when you can actually just grill corn 
fresh from the cob. It's coming off pretty nicely. Like I said, I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm used to fresh uh, maritime corn, peaches and cream, but this is looking pretty good. So corn is a bit of a starchy vegetable, but you know, this meal doesn't have any other starch in it. So we've got our kale, which is um, full of um, phytonutrients. And so a little bit of corn from the starch will be good. Lots of B vitamins in corn. So this is not so bad. <laughs> I'm, um, it's a little bit hot at the top, but not too bad. Okay, so we've almost got the first cob corn through there. Okay, and let's get that second cob. Let's just dump this actually into my salad. So I get a little bit more room on the plate and get this in through there. I think it's going to go super well with the goat cheese as well. And I realized now I was supposed to put the goat cheese at the very top, but if it melts, that'll be okay. So let me get this next piece in of the corn. And I think there's going to be a little cleanup after this. So a great uh, summertime meal to have. go. It's getting a little bit hot here at the end, but I'm almost through with this. And then we've just got the pork chop to add. Whew. Okay, that's why it's always good to have lots of tea towels around as well. My other favorite thing to have whenever I'm cooking is lots of dishcloths around. Okay, so we've got that done up. So the rest of the corn is going to go in with the salad. Here we go. I didn't check my 15 minute time limit, but I think I'm doing pretty good. So let's put this in. And now I've got to get this pork chop. And I'll get this sliced up as well. There were two pork chops that came with this meal, but one kind of got eaten a little bit earlier than planned. Anyway, this is gonna taste great. And again, this is gonna make two servings but I can tell by looking at the size of that salad now that I'll probably end up having the salad on another day. And I'll actually probably stretch that yeah, to a couple of servings for sure. Okay, there we are. Now, time for assembly. So the final part of meal preparation is the most fun. You know, and so many of us I think have watched, you know, Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay. So we know how plating and presentation can make a huge difference to um, the taste of any meal that we're having. So I'm giving this a good mix up now. It smells really good. I'm really smelling that goat cheese in through there and also smelling that fresh parsley. So I'm gonna get this ready here on my plate. A lovely healthy meal. Here we go. I didn't have any vegetables yet today as I was working. So in this other bowl, I've combined the butter. So this is when they call it, you know, basically pork chops with the ancho whiskey butter. So you, you combine the rest of the spice mix with a butter. Uh, the butter was softened, I had to put it in the microwave. Um, but it's looking really, really good. So we've got that ready. So I'm gonna get my pork off of my, off of my cutting board here. Get that prepared. And again, that's a pretty big pork chop, so I think I'm actually quite okay with that amount. I've got some fresh parsley that I'm gonna sprinkle on top, and then I'm meant to put a drizzle of this whiskey ancho, ancho butter on top of it as well. It looks really, really good. There we go. So what do you think? Looking pretty tasty. So now I need to have a bite of this. Okay, so let me let you know how it tastes. So I'm gonna dig into my first bite of this. It's looking really good. I love the colors, you know, texture. We got a little bit of crunchy here. So let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Delicious. The sweetness of the corn with the tartness of the goat cheese is excellent. I love the butter over the top of the pork. It's really giving a richness to it as well. So this is a healthy meal in a package. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned 